Let me first ask about uh, the way these numbers developed, because you handily beat the street's expectations on almost every level from net profit up to revenue. But analysts were concerned about the way you did that. Yeah, thank you for the question. In general, I must say, indeed, it was a beat. And what you can clearly see if you compare uh, H1 2017 with H1 uh, 2018, you can see that the ingredients of the strategy, more customers means more asset, more asset means more revenue, is working. We are also uh, working on all our other issues, including the rundown of the ACR business, as well as optimizing others and consolidation. So in total, it is a beat um, uh, with uh, a, kind, uh, a broad kind of ingredients uh, contributing, including at the end of the day also the risk result. Well, Morgan Stanley specifically said they are concerned that uh, the growth is coming from your non-core assets and that your retail and corporate banking divisions aren't putting forward the kind of growth that they want to see. Can you show them that in the future? We have seen growth, uh, especially in PSPC. We have reached our year-end target of, it, of assets under control of $386 billion already at half year. So I think that is where you clearly see the growth, and that's where clearly the strategy wants to see the growth. So that's, that's uh, paying off well. Um, in uh, corporate clients, what we have still a very competitive environment. Uh, we can see growth there also on the customer side, and we can also see growth on the loan side, which is fine. Um, but monitorizing this growth uh, will probably take a bit longer uh, than originally anticipated. This is why we have slightly reduced our uh, revenue expectation for uh, corporate clients. For so, but your overall revenue expectation, do you want to get back to where the bank was in 2015? I think it's 9.8 billion euros through 2020. Um, can you still hit that goal? Let me put it this way. I think the strategy is right and the strategy is working. That's what you can see. And 9.8 is the right goal to fight for. And in that sense, I'd say, yes, 9.8 is what we fight for. And that is uh, what everybody tries to achieve. And that's what we're working on. Uh, on the call with uh, analysts, you did say that not all of your growth strategies are moving uh, as quickly forward or, or working as quickly as you'd like them to. Can you elaborate on which strategies you're having problems with? It's mainly uh, in Germany the price competition, which is still fierce, um, and uh, where you always need a little bit to weigh uh, growth against profitability and also profitability and risk. And in that sense, I think we have taken a prudent approach. One prime example probably is the Q2 net new business in private mortgage financing. It was a bit down, uh, deliberately steered down a bit, and therefore we have uh, achieved a lot better margins of the multiplication of volume and margins better than before. So growth is as such not everything. Clear is what you need is more customers. More customers produces more assets, and more assets will finally produce more revenue. Well, speaking of customers, one of the goals is to add 500,000 customers this year. Um, you only added 150,000 in the first half. Does that mean you're going to accelerate customer additions in half two, or do you expect to miss that target this year? No, I don't m expect missing targets, obviously. Uh, the, clear is, uh, the goal is clear, two, bi 2 million by the end of 2020. Um, yes, we have admittedly seen a somewhat slower net new customer growth in the first half. But again, that is also reflecting market dynamics a little bit. And let's be honest, the, the, the soccer uh, world championship didn't really produce the kind of tailwind that we would have hoped for. Nevertheless, there's still the second half of the year, and let's see what we have to offer. So do you really, do you really see an effect on your business from the dismal performance of the German national team? Um, let me put it this way. If a strategy and a campaign runs for six weeks, it is obviously a difference to whether it runs for two or three weeks, and that is, I think, as much as we should discuss uh, yeah. soccer. L let's talk about, you know, our, uh, our our reporter at Bloomberg, Stephen Ahrens, wrote that your your long search for scale is paying off and talking about sort of your strategy from the 35,000-foot view. What is the strategy of Commerce Bank going forward? Where do you want to be? It's very clear. We want to grow the bank. Uh, we want to make it faster, simpler, more efficient, and more digital, and that's what we've been doing. Um, H1, uh, H217 and H118 are the two big investment years. Um, or the two in the big investment periods, and that's what I'm saying is paying off. 
Um, look, for example, at the new process that we have for consumer finance. It's fully on our books now. It's fully digitalized. And things like that are the prerequisite, A, to grow the revenue side, and B, also to um, uh, and, and enable us to reduce cost again by digitizing more processes. And if you look at our cost goal of $6.5 billion, which is totally unchanged, you, we have about 500 um, a million of uh, personnel reductions still coming, uh, another 200 million from the EMC business. So that uh, should uh, pay off on the um, cost side. And as I said, on the revenue side, more customers, more assets, more revenues. Uh, let me finally ask you on the cost side, because you raised your outlook for costs in the second half. Is it more difficult as a German bank? I mean, we see a bank like RBS, for example, at the height of the financial crisis had 300,000 employees. Now they only have 140,000. You had 55,000. Now you still have 40, 45,000. Is it more, more difficult for you to cut costs? And, wh and where do you want to be? The, the Commerzbank track record on, on cutting costs over the last years, I think, is, is very impressive. Um, we have compensated a lot of additional costs already over the last years, uh, mainly about regulatory compliance as well as bank levies. Uh, just keep in mind that one of the key ingredients for higher costs again this year is higher bank levies. Uh, it is higher uh, costs on regulatory and compliance. And admittedly so, yes, we want to reinvest some of the sales proceeds at Comdirect um, uh, into digitalization and growth, which also contributes uh, a bit to the growth and cost. And finally, we are running the EMC project uh, a lot faster and quicker than originally anticipated, which at the end will also produce a cost reduction of 200. So at a certain stage, you need to do some investment uh, to make sure that you, for example, get the processes organized in such a fashion that you can basically lay off 5,000 people. And I'm sure something similar has happened at the bank you mentioned earlier.